it's like that, I'm going to add that fulcrum in here. And I'm going to do it by constraints again. Say OK. I'm going to start with a touch align, and I'm going to say touch. I'm going to let this flat base be flat against that surface. I want to do an inverse center axis, that against that, and a parallel. Now, this parallel, you'll notice this thing has a draft on it because this is designed to be cast. And so I can't make this whole flat surface parallel to this flat surface. That's not going to work. That's going to over constrain. He's going to say That's, that doesn't work. But what I can do is say that this, just this edge one, uh, should be parallel to this edge. And he doesn't mind that at all. It's fine. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put in that subassembly. Even though there's only one component in there right now, it's just a subassembly, I can go ahead and put it in. And then as I update it, it will update into this file. That'll be fun. So I want these full subassembly. And again, this time by constraints. Okay. And this one I want to start with a touch align. I'm going to do infer center axis. And I really just need any of these cylindrical shapes on here. Or even uh, maybe a data axis down there or something. That'll do. That's my center axis, and it aligns with this. Now, you may not realize that that's stuck in there backwards at this point. That is not what I want. I want it flipped around the other way. And you might be familiar with the, uh, the reverse constraint error there. I should point that out because that's something you're going to need. You may have seen it before when you're doing different things. It says, look, uh, this can have two different meanings. Which one would you like? Would you like to try the other meaning for this? There's a similar uh, icon to this. 